What you guys got another video my favorite windows customization tool has just had a major update for those people who don't like the stock windows 11 look you can change it with a free customization tool called windhawk now windhawk has been around for quite a while and they've done quite a bit of work on this application and done quite a few updates on it it's allowing you to customize your taskbar, your start menu, your notifications, and much more. Now it goes without saying, this is making changes to your operating system, so use at your own risk. This information provided in this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Any actions you take based on this video is strictly done at your own risk. Always do your own research, and remember, this is a how-to video, not a to-do video. Remember, you make your own decisions on the changes you make to your PC. Now, Windhawk is perfectly safe to use, and this video is not breaking any YouTube community guidelines. So you choose what you want to do with your PC. Now, if we browse the mods, the free that we're going to be looking at is the Windows 11 Start Menu Styler, the Windows 11 Taskbar Styler, and the Windows 11 Notification Center Styler. This will make changes to the operating system and make them look much nicer than what we have by default, which is offered by Microsoft. Now, whether you'd like to customize or tweak your operating system is completely up to you. Some people like to leave it as stock and a lot of people like to customize it. So if you're one of those people, this video might be for you. So let's go ahead and install the Windows 11 taskbar styler first. It's important that you obviously keep system restore points and back up all your data before making any changes to the operating system. You'll see proceed with care, and that's because they're warning you about it's making changes to the operating system. You can see I've already installed this, and now what we're going to do is go to the settings panel to make changes to it. You can even look at the source code because Windhawk is completely open source which shows you what changes are being made to the operating system, which is always a good thing. So let's go to the settings panel. And what we're looking for here is the theme section. Under the theme section, this is going to allow us to change themes of our taskbar styler. So let's go here and have a look. Now, there are some pretty crude ones in here, if I'm honest, and some of the ones that I wouldn't use. This completely invisible one here, I've seen some people use it. It's not for me. And there's ones like XP for the nostalgia of XP lovers right here. You might need to change that start button for some reason. That looks like it's bugged out a little bit there. And there is quite a few inside here that you can use. There's the Windows XP Zoom. And we also have Bubbles. Uh, also Win Vista, And a bunch of other ones in here. There's this one right here. Let's take a look at this to see what it looks like. That doesn't seem to have done anything. Let's go back into clear state right here. There we go. That looks quite nice. But the one I like to use myself, if I'm going to be using this on a system, and it's this one down here, Windows Glass. Windows Glass, when you save it, does look quite nice. It breaks it down into a very small taskbar here, and it has that glass effect. And I do like it quite a bit. And I'm pretty sure this is probably one of the most common ones that people like to use on their system. Now, there's loads of customization here and styles if you want to get into that. But we're keeping this very simple. And we're going to jump in to the next option available to us by going to the Explore button here. And we're going to be taking a look at the Windows 11 Start Menu Styler. This will allow you to change the Start Menu so we can go into Details and have a good read of all the information inside here. You can even check the source code here as well. But again, it does give you some ideas of some of the looks that you can get with this application. But because we're using the glass theme, we're gonna go ahead and try to install a Windows glass theme for our start menu. So let's go back and we're gonna click on install and it's gonna give us that warning message and we're gonna go accept and install and it's going to install the actual module for this start menu. These are completely reversible, which I'll show you later on. And we're going to go into the settings right here. And you can see there is a theme we can choose. And of course, we're looking for uh, the Windows Glass. And there is a couple of options here. 
So we're gonna go for this one right here and click on that and save it. And once we've done this, it should apply that to our system. Let's take a look. There we go, it's now added it in. Let me add some icons in here so you can see it better. But remember, it's on a blue background and you might wanna change your wallpaper to make that look a bit more nicer. And I'll show you that as well in a second. Let me just make some changes and we can take a look at the icons in there now. There we go, we just added some icons and I think that looks really nice with that taskbar. And you can customize it and add more icons to this if you want to. Let me just quickly show you right here by going to all. We're gonna go down to the app section and we're gonna add in this one right here, pin to start. And there we go, we just added the explorer to there as well. And of course they've got a new start menu out as well. So it'll work with that as well. So let's go ahead and add another uh, module in which is for the notification options that we have with Windhawk. So I'm gonna go into Windhawk one more time, go to explore, and you can see it's this next one up here, Windows 11 Notification Center Styler, hit the details, and we can see what it's gonna look like. So it's not gonna open there because I've removed that application, but we can see right here, I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed, and you've got some customizations in here. If you wanted to customize it a bit more and get those looks, you can do with this actual application. So let's go ahead and get this mod installed on the system so we can take a look at it and see what it looks like once we get all the three of these installed together. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to Explore, Details, and we're gonna go Install for the Windows 11 Notification Center Styler. It's gonna give you that little warning message. We're gonna install it. And there we go, that's now installed. Again, you can check all the source code, uh, but we're gonna need to go to the settings panel and change that settings panel. And we're gonna change the theme and we're gonna go to the Windows Glass. Now there is also a Windows Glass alternative. If you want to go down that route, you can do, but we're gonna just leave this on Windows Glass and take a look. Let me drop that down right here. And now we have the taskbar nicely done. And we also have the start menu and we also have the notifications uh, center right there. We can see that's all nicely done as well. Now you can change it to the alternative one, which will be a smaller compact version if you want to. Let me go ahead and change the background on this to a darker background so you can see it more clearly and it should look a bit nicer. So let's take a look with this darker one right here and that will change the effect of it. Also, if you're into the dark sort of wallpapers, I think that looks quite nice as well. Let me get a bit more of a darker a wallpaper here so we can check that one out and see what that looks like. And there you go, that looks pretty dark and it looks pretty nice. And I think that looks a really nice desktop right there with that lovely taskbar and the notification center. And we also have the start menu as well done. So that's the three options available right there. And they're the most downloaded and used on these uh, applications. It does look pretty good. And there's some other ones on here as well if you want to take a look at those. So what if you wanted to reverse this and remove it from the system? Well, you can do. All you need to do is open up uh, Windhawk and we can toggle that off and it will go back to default. You can see we fully customized the taskbar start menu and notification center. So let's go ahead and open up Windhawk here. We've got it inside our start menu. So there we go. I'm going to open this up and you can just turn these rocker buttons to the off position right here. And this will remove all of it. You can see the taskbar has gone back to default. The start menu has gone back to default. And let's take a look right here. This might need a bit of a refresh. Let me just quickly do that one more time. There we go. And it's now gone back to default. Everything's back to default. Now, of course, you can just uninstall Windhawk at this stage if you want to, or you can remove the actual uh, modules if you wanted to by clicking the remove button but it's already off and you can just uninstall uh, the actual application once you've finished with it if you don't want it on the system anyway with that said i think that's going to be about it let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below my name is ben brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk big shout out to all my youtube members who will join my youtube members group whether you're tier one tier two or tier three support i really do appreciate it and i'll catch you in the next video bye for now